start with last night's Premier League action. My goodness. What games were you watching, by the way? Because I obviously watched the Man United game. If I'm honest, yeah. I, I watched United hoping so I could give you I stick. bet you did. I bet <laughs> you did. <laughs> I Do you know what? I was watching the United game thinking, I bet Ben is watching that hoping. Yeah, <laughs> I was. But... So you watched that. You didn't know the Spurs score then? No, but I, I saw... You I saw, saw it honest, happening. When I saw the score and at the time, I thought, oh, game over. Put my phone down. Nine, check it. 94 minutes and 15 seconds, Leicester were 2-1 up. I actually put the game on because I was watching United and I flicked over to Tottenham at 93 and I said to my missus, babe, they're losing. Look, look, they're losing. And then bang, <laughs> bang. <laughs> That's a bit personal. I don't know. Oh, the football you mean? Right, okay. <laughs> do, do, do you know what I will say though? And, and, and Spurs winning three, like really good result. Yeah. I was happy for Stephen Burkvine because he's since he's been there. Yeah. He's had rotten luck. He's not been he able has. to get in the team. He has. I remember he made his debut against City. Scored a great goal. Hasn't kicked on. But to get two goals like that, I mean, the second mm. goal is a really good finish. Well, if you're a Leicester fan, let's start with Leicester. Then. If you're a Leicester fan, would you be? Would you be nervous about? This is not the first time it's happened to Brendan Rodgers. You you can go back to when he was in charge at Liverpool and, of course, they, that game against Chelsea where the Gerrard slip was nothing to do with him, but you could argue he set up incorrectly for that game. Mm. And the game before that was against Palace when they were 3-1 up and they yeah. went Dwight on to Gale come on and Bob Bosch. Yeah. You've got, you've got of course, um, that they were in the top four twice for most of the season and finished outside it. Again, this is a game where you think if you can't hold off a team with what, three minutes left even to get a point something's dramatically wrong do you blame the manager for these type of things or do you just put it down to that's just football last night's crazy I mean to get two goals so late on but again it's plus defending switching off I think Soyuncay as a, for the centre half mm. he is he had his first season for Leicester and everyone was singing his praises without a doubt the last two all he does is make mistake after, and even the goals last night out of position but Brendan Rodgers would have to shed some of the blame because as you said there two times they were in the top four um, nearly, um, but this is where the, the argument's not flawed but it's a bit because you say that he nearly got it done at Liverpool which I fully understand top four twice dropped out to fifth but they did get over the line and win the FA Cup yes they did so you go mm. oh really but you expect from, from last night you expect that and I'm only saying this because of the word Spursy you expect that from Tottenham not Leicester yeah but I, I as I said I didn't watch the game but speaking to people Spurs absolutely battered them yeah now I think they miss Johnny Evans massively. And for, Far- and for Farno. Yeah, for Farno. But Johnny Evans like brings that karma. I'm not sure that happens if, and if Johnny Evans is well. experience. Yeah. 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 Um, would you be worried if you're a Leicester fan? About? Well, just about where the club's going now. Because no, on the back of, on the, the back of those two no. seasons where they finished just outside the top four and they won the FA Cup, you expect them to kick on a bit. And yeah, they're not really get, kicking no, on at the it's moment. Not that they're kicking on, but they've had big injuries to deal with. I think if you're a Leicester fan right now, yeah, you may be a little bit disappointed this is because they're 10th, I think they are. Yeah. But you still think of the, what they've accomplished recently. You still go, okay, well, maybe every every team at some stage has a, a kind of down period. Yeah. Maybe this is their down period because they've had incredible highs. So I just think maybe right now, they, next season, they get all their players back. They make one or two more signings and then they kick on, kick on again. Vardy's been out for a little while. Yeah. We know how important he is. Mm. For Farnock, the worst, most stupid tackle in pre-season puts him out for the season. Mm. James Justin, I think yeah. he's just come back now. He's a big miss. So they've, they've had players, do you know what I mean? Of strong, well, it- if you're a Leicester fan as well, what what do you expect? Like, what do you want? Do you want top four? Because they're not going to get top four. No. So top Maybe. six, possibly. Top six is the best they can hope for this season. I think that's I fair, think so. isn't it? That's yeah. realistic. Yeah. Talking of top four, Spurs down, we've up to fifth with that win. They're just a point off West Ham, but they've got three games to play. Mm. And they can go above Liverpool, I think I'm right in saying. Yeah, they can. Be 42. Oh, if they, if they win three games, Liverpool then got a game in hand. I know it's ifs, buts and maybes. But my point is, Spurs are looking good now for top four, are they not? Would you... Yeah, would I, you, said you, that, I said that from, from three, four weeks ago. Even though they were having a little bit of a blip, they got a great manager... And results like last night and the way it happened, that can like change the season. It can give you belief. It can obviously the confidence is going to be high. And yeah, I mean, it hurts me to say, but they are looking good for top four. It's yeah. going to be tight still, but <laughs> they've got a chance. <laughs> yeah. Who do you want, Spurs or Arsenal? I'm only joking. Harry, <laughs> Kane, Harry Kane's goal was fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah. Harry Kane's yeah. goal was fantastic. Yeah, he was, he was no lucky doubt. in the first half. Yeah, he really was good very good defender from Luke Thomas. Yeah, mm. yeah, it was a great shot as well. Uh, okay, well, listen, um, we'll take calls on on Leicester and Spurs. Of course, we will. Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. Just while I've got you as well, just a, a quick word about the United game. Not necessarily the result, but the big news, of course. Uh, ben, I'll start with you. Mm. Is Ronaldo's reaction to being substituted? What did you make of that? Yeah, I didn't like. I didn't like to see it. Um, you talk about a guy that speaks about being a role model for kids, and he has been. I mean, listen, he's been one of the greats we've ever seen. But I didn't really like it last night. And what, what I, think, I think what I don't like more than anything is that he's done that. But then there are people out there trying to like condone what he's done, like blaming Ralph for taking him off, for making the decision as a manager. Said it's an overreaction from the media, um, showing that 
it's passion. It's passionate because he's done that. I, I didn't really like it. I thought coming off now, I get it, but the team's winning. Ralph gave an explanation to why I took him off, bought Maguire and wanted to seal up the game. Mm-hmm. I've got no problem with that. He's 36, coming back from injury. Big game coming up at the weekend. But for him to kind of throw his toys out the pram, like, I didn't really like it. And what kind of example does that set for the rest of the squad? Jack, is he throwing his toys out the pram or is he just a footballer that's disappointed to be? Ben, he's going to hate me, but I don't mind it. You don't mind it? Well, because uh, well, it shows passion? But it's Ronaldo. Like, there's only probably but two, that, that's the only two that people, people two players in the world that could do that and have that reaction. Mm. And he's obviously one of them. Um, he, listen, he's disappointed. He, he wanted to score. He, he he's come off. He's disappointed, and and he spoke to the manager as well. I don't like like if you come off and then you start talking on the bench. Oh, why has he took me off? Why has he took me off? I've played with players like that, and I would rather them just be honest and 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 say to the manager like, what's going on? And and just quickly as well, what did what did you make of United after he went? As think, in I, a group, a unit, a team, how they play. I think it looked good. And what I liked more than anything was the last goal that Rafa scored, which was a fantastic finish was the celebrations afterwards. All the players were smiling, they looked together, and I thought, mm, that's what you want to see from a United mm-hmm. team. Because they've got some great youngsters down there, maybe underachieving right now, Rashford, Sa- uh, Sancho certainly, Greenwood, but I, I, it was a good result. After your first half performance, to come out of there with a 3-1 win, good result. Yeah, the first half was appalling, by the way. Second half was excellent. 